Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Great, piece of crap. Hello? I can't see anything. Oh my! Alright guys, so welcome to something called Abandoned Souls. <laughs> I don't mind telling you guys, I've been putting this off for a hot minute. Just in case you don't know what this is, this is a realistic horror game that is created in the style of found footage. A while ago now, there was a bit of a boom with body cam style horrors, and this came along then, and this is arguably what a lot of people are saying is one of the better ones. So, <laughs> And a lot of you guys have been suggesting it, so this is what it says. The player takes on the role of a video blogger, Tim, who loves to explore abandoned places. This time, Tim sets off to explore an old abandoned hospital in the midst of a deep forest to capture exclusive footage for his viewers. Rumor has it, the hospital was somehow connected to a case of disappearances in the area in 1985. <laughs> and that's all we've got to go off. So welcome everyone to Abandoned Souls. It is 2015. Tim, an urbex vlogger, per his viewer's request, sets out to explore an abandoned hospital in a forest in the middle of nowhere. The web forum Tim frequented was crawling with stories about people who had gone missing in the vicinity of the hospital in 1985. They said... It was no ordinary hospital. Okay. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if that made you jump even a little bit. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I wonder what we're dealing with here because, like, my brain immediately goes to, okay, here we are, an old abandoned hospital building that operated in the 80s. I'm going to enter this building to shoot a video for my viewers. <laughs> okay. Flashlight. It's a crap flashlight, too. So, I think you guys may have heard me say a few times by now that I'm absolutely interested in this kind of thing, like the exploration of old buildings and the history of them, things like that. I don't know, this is something really cool about them, but if this was me, I would absolutely... I would absolutely bring along, like, the brightest torch and, like, night vision, thermal vision, everything. <laughs> Even if it means me capturing something that I can't quite explain, I have to have that. So I'm not being followed by anyone or I'm not seeing things or anything like that. I don't know if that would be worse. Locked. I need to find something to break these planks. Ew. Was that an animal? I don't know what that was. It's like a like a weird grunt or something. All right, we got light over there. Got to find something to break these planks. But yeah, some of the videos you see of people... Wait, what? See, I'd be asking questions straight away with this. And then there's a fire over there too. There's people here. Like maybe homeless people or something. But when you see these videos... <laughs> I mean, I can't just be the only one. As much as I do like get intrigued by them... There's a part of me as well that's like, you must have insane courage just to go through some of these places. Even when they don't hear anything, just the look of some of them that are like falling to pieces. And it's so dangerous. But like in terms of, oh. In terms of just like discovering stuff and coming across things from the past. Missing person. Wait, how do we? There we go. This is the worst flashlight anyone could bring along to do some urban exploration. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now. What did we hear over this side? A lot of you guys said... I don't like that. that. This is something we should check out. Oh, another missing person. And the last time you guys said that... 
as much as you have in the comments. It was from the darkness and then Kowloon. And we all know how that ended. So I fully expect my soul to leave my body while I'm <laughs> going through this. <sighs> oh shit. Oh, I definitely just heard twigs breaking. Someone's over there. Also, I don't know if you guys just picked up on that just then. There was like wolves or uh, coyotes or something in the distance. That's got to be one of the most terrifying things to hear at nighttime, especially when there's no like source of light or anything. What's that? Is that going to break? I'm definitely... Oh my god. There's missing person pictures everywhere. So, like the background that we've got on this place, <laughs> it's all adding up. It's going to be a deer, isn't it? It's going to be a deer. It's going to come like prancing out of me, like right from my face. Hello? Oh shit, no. Oh, that sounds like a kid. Do I have to go in there? Oh, there's a fire or something. What's that? Oh, I can barely see anything. This, I'm gonna say this so many times, but this flashlight is so weak. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> no, it does that. Great piece of crap. Hello? I can't see anything. No! Oh my! <sighs> okay, so are we dealing with spirits then? Go away. not pick this up oh i'd really really like that i mean i don't know what good it's gonna do me but it's that crowbar on the table let's grab that grab anything i need to get back to the car oh i'm pretty sure that's some kind of spirit or something then right maybe of the people that I've gone missing. You can see the uh, the car flashing over there. Oh, okay. I think it might be getting a little bit lighter, so I'm a bit more confident on checking this out. I'm still hearing... Yeah, I'm still hearing things moving around in the trees there. I'm trying to piece together what it is that we're up against. <laughs> I really don't think an axe is going to help. Oh, look at that. The shoes. Is that the local? Oh, shh. No, 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 no. Oh, it's gone really dark again. Oh, my God, no, go. Oh, when my body gets chills like that, that is absolutely a warning sign. Go. This is enough for me. <laughs> oh, this is more than enough. If I got this on recording right now with those noises and what just happened at that weird, like, outhouse or wherever it was, I'd be so gone. I mean, that's enough for, for a few views, right? <laughs> you don't need that many views. It's not worth your life. Let me take this. No. All the saliva's gone from my mouth. There's going to be something there. I, I just know it. There's going to be something stood in front of the lights and we're just going to see a silhouette. No? Oh. I need to get closer to deactivate the alarm. It's old. I wanted to install a new one before leaving, but I'm a lazy ass. <laughs> no, you absolutely are right. You should have installed a new one. Can we do it? 
What was that? Clothing? That's better. Ooh. What the hell? Is that a bloodied axe sticking out of my car? Who could have done that? What? Oh, it's an axe? There's a light coming from inside that building now, too. Looks like a warning. If I decide I should go inside the building... Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, that's definitely a warning. Do not enter. It's as clear as day. Oh, what is that sound? I keep bracing myself thinking something's just going to appear in front of me or it start running at me, so I've got to start running like a chase scene or something, but... The suspense is killing me right now. All right, let's go and see what this is. I think we got the crowbar, right? So we can rip off the uh, the planks. There's the noises again. Some chains or something. One side. Oh, sh What's just happened? What was that? <laughs> what? what was that? Oh. Oh. Trying to tell me something. I hope he can't get in here. Oh, he's going to be there, is there? Oh, yeah, 100%. No? What was it? It looked like a zombie or something. The guys didn't lie. This place gives me goosebumps. Need to find some records to learn more about this place. I'm so focused, by the way, on what's going on in the distance, like looking for shadows or silhouettes of anything. The text is easy for me to miss, so I, I apologize if I do that. Ooh. Look at all this shit. Needles, medicine. Looks like it started raining outside. I got inside just in time. That is like the least of your worries right now. Now, do you guys know what I mean about the flashlight? Oh, look at that. <gasps> okay. Deep breath. Here we go. Oh, look at all the shit. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. No, no, no. I heard a growl as well. That wasn't just a rat. No, that wasn't just a rat. That was like a false jump scare. There's 100% something going after that. No. I'm going to go this way. Oh, this is not even better. Oh, <gasps> Was something just at the window? Oh, I can hear something moving. Oh, is it the rain? Okay. Right, we got a note. Okay, it's really hard to see. It's like everything's blown out in terms of like brightness and stuff. Mike, I can't believe they're shutting us down. What about all the locals? Where are they going to turn to for help now? How will they reach the town? It's miles and miles away. Strange, according to the papers, our sponsors have been very generous and invested so much more than necessary into our hospital. Funding gap? Bullshit. Alex. So they were shutting this place down? It's really strange. They closed the only hospital for hundreds of kilometers around. Why? Because they were doing some creepy and weird shit to people. And I've got a feeling that's why we're seeing so many of these. It was no ordinary hospital, right? Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but things keep popping up and it's, it's achievements that we're coming across. The guys on the forum were writing that people were disappearing in the villages near this hospital. It happened around the 80s. The note is dated 1985. Oh, I'm so scared something's just going to appear. Can we not? Oh, we can. We can open that. Oh, my God. I don't know which is worse, this way or the other way. No, that's worse. That's definitely worse. All right, we're going back where the rats were. Let's go. If I run, is that going to make everything worse and loud? No, we're okay. It's fairly quiet. All right, rats. What were you running from? I'm running towards. Oh, I'm so braced. I know you guys can hear that too. Is that my breathing? I think it is. Easy does it. 
blood bags or saline bags or something. Oh, full body chills right now. <laughs> Just slowly like working through the darkness and then slowly seeing things come into the light, like whatever we have here. What is this? <laughs> Why? Oh, this was not, it's going to be like a children's hospital or something, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> That's so much worse. What am I supposed to be looking for? Just the evidence? What happened? I can hear something. What? Why did he say? Why did he say shit? Oh. What was it? Oh, was something there and it ran away? Okay. You see, this looks insane, and it absolutely is. Like, the insanity of going through a place like this, <laughs> you can't put a light more on how big of balls you need <laughs> to actually do something like this. But the simple fact that we're doing this for views, and like, <laughs> no other reason, just... What the f oh. That's it. Is that like... Oh my god! Is that like a contort- Oh sh- Oh, I'm, I'm expecting a chase scene. <laughs> yeah, the simple fact that people do this is just, it's so beyond me, guys. It really is. I would love to try it once just to see if I can. It's kind of that, can you do it sort of thing in the back of your mind, but I really don't know if I could. Like I say, I would have to have all the equipment. I'd have to, like, vet the... Vet the place out, make sure where I'm going is <laughs> quote unquote safe. <laughs> all right, what's this? Who the hell are these people? What's with all the equipment they're hauling away? I've never seen hardware like this. And the body bags. I swear these look like body bags with, well, corpses in them. But we are an ordinary hospital. We don't even have a morgue here. Where did the body bags come from? What's going on? So is this people that actually work here that seen something else happen in the hospital? I've got a feeling... Oh, I have the same question. I've got a feeling... Oh, my fu- What? Okay, I was just about to say, I've got a feeling we're seeing the missing people, like the... The manifestations of them, but I don't think it is. Something more is going on. I saw that. Oh, I'm going to turn around. There's going to be a face. Oh. Yeah, but like I was saying before, all of this is just in ruins now. At any point, it could just fall down. That's another thing. Oh, look at the writing too. <laughs> That's like another thing that you got to watch out for. Oh my God! <gasps> Oh my god, that made me jump so bad. <laughs> I crouched and I thought I sunk into the floor. Can we open that? There was a face. If you didn't see that, there was a face there. I thought it was like a contorted body leaning over it, the first one that we found, but it's not. I don't know if it's one thing or multiple. Ooh. What is... Oh, don't do that. When I can hear, like, whimpering... <laughs> The phone ringing, how is this possible? There's no electricity here. The building has been abandoned for many years. I don't think so. Is That's just a skeleton. Yeah, the weather's bad outside. Wait, it's 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 not even on it. Oh, is this one there too? Okay. Got another note. I feel like I'm being watched right now. That's why I'm scanning everywhere. Screw this, Rick. They're shutting us down. After all, we've, all I've done for them, what we've done, the project was doing good. We were so close to our goal. 
but one of the sponsors decided that there are too many casualties. What? After all these years and so many lives sacrificed, they decide to pull the plug so as to not alert the press. The locals suspect us already and they decide to close the hospital? Can't they see it'll set off more alarm bells? Today they will haul away all the equipment and all the subjects. Just like that in broad daylight. Idiots. <laughs> so there was some kind of cover-up going on? What's that sound? Looks like someone's crying. That looks more than just somebody crying. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's twitching too. I can't do anything. Oh my. Don't look up. Oh, there's going to be a face there. Oh, listen. Oh, my. What in the. Yep. That's more than enough. <laughs> We've seen enough. Let's go. It's time to go home. You will get your views of what you've recorded. This is fine. We don't need to continue. Oh. Something just moved the, the, the things that hide people when they're like getting changed or when they want to hide a bed in a hospital. They've moved it across from the area where we were before. Oh my, the, the running like in the, in the tree line and inside here. Oh. There's something over there, just waiting in the corner. Yep. Yep. Okay, so we're stood in front of this teddy bear. So is there something to our right in the corner over there, just sat in a box? <laughs> no? What is that sound? No? <laughs> okay, that one I was fine with. Something just popped up saying, is something help? Ew. Follow me? What? Is that thing just gonna start rolling? There's more than one of them, like... Please don't run out of the darkness. <laughs> okay, I see another one. Am I supposed to be making note of what rooms these things are in? The room looks familiar. What? Alright, I'll, I'll just have a look around. It doesn't look familiar. <laughs> none of this, none of this is, has been calm enough for me to go, yeah, that room looks familiar. There's a noise coming from down here too. There's another missing person there. Mm -mm. That's like some kind of toy or something. Let's check both of these. I think this is where I saw the face. We're okay. Oh, we, we didn't actually go in here. All the medical supply. You can smell this place, right? <laughs> you know what I mean by that? How hospitals and stuff smell. Imagine that, but like with old piss and <laughs> everything else added into it. Didn't miss anything there. I'm gonna close these. 
Don't know where that noise was coming from. That sounded like it. Oh, there. Do we do it? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I had to check it. Another one. What? Oh, there's a key somewhere. So that's what we got to find because that door was locked back there. Got it. Okay. Looks like the hallway I was in, the familiar clock on the wall. There should be a door somewhere near them. Okay. Right, we'll have a look for that. Did we read this? With all the equipment? Yeah, we already read that. Okay. I feel like my heart is in my throat right now and it's not calmed down once. And I think that is by design of this place. The whole found footage style, the body cam horror style. <laughs> There's something about it that if it's done right, oh, it makes everything so much worse. Makes you feel like you're in it. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna check every room just to make sure nothing's changed or in case I've missed something. Yeah, there was just like nothing across around here. This is where the first flash of lightning was too. Okay. So back to the right. What was I just hearing? Oh, I don't want to go in there again. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Oh, there's a teddy bear there. I see that. That was the first one we found. Okay. And the dust is still up in the air from whatever ran out before. Oh, it's not the right one. Yeah. <laughs> I've been saying throughout this. I don't know if I could do this. If it was like this, there's no way. Yeah, absolutely no way. I would be gone after the first sign of something weird, which would pretty much have been the, <laughs> the intro where we saw whatever that thing that was that charged us. All right, let's just go back. I think it might be the room that we came from. The only other room was where we saw something like hiding on the ceiling or whatever it was. There was nothing back this way. This was just the entrance, right? Yeah, okay. All right, let's go back to where we were then. Ooh. Oh my! What the fuck was that? Yep. Oh, it was there. This is the bathroom that was on the picture. Okay, got it. So, so now we've got the key. Please don't do that. Running, screaming thing again. It was this way, right? And then left at the end. We're okay. Oh, no! <sighs> yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's just no way. I don't think it's just me that can't do this or wouldn't do this. Anybody would be out of their mind to even try this or stay here for this <laughs> length of time. Please. Please be the key. Please. Oh. What is this place? Oh, <laughs> you can see even less now. I'm just holding my breath for a second because I know someone's going to come charging out. What? Oh, no way. No, no. Go the opposite way. So they were... In like a hidden area, I guess, underneath the hospital. And they were doing some weird experiments or something like that. The thing is, those things that keep charging at me, they, they don't seem to be like made of anything. Because they're like phasing right through me, right? Unless they're brushing past me. Please don't. 
Tell me that's not eyes. That was cheap. Oh, that was... The minute I pick that up, something's going to come running out. So many people, men, women, children, and for what? Why have we done all this? It was clear from the start that this was bullshit. Dr. Borkov, what did he try to achieve? I think he just loves to hurt people, gets off on torture. I'm glad that they're shutting it down. Oh, I'm glad they're shutting down the project, but the blood on our hands. I don't think it'll ever come off. <sighs> you can probably hear the stress. I really thought it was something. Like that! Oh, I was so prepared. Oh, you shit. Where is it? I would be picking any like this. Pick a piece of wood up or something. What's that smell? Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, was that like someone? making feral noises or something or was that like it whoa oh what i hope it's dead <laughs> yep there's something on the ramp oh please don't lift your head up this is so bad they were doing some freaky shit under this hospital. And there's something over there where we need to go to. Don't think I didn't hear that. Oh, I hear you. You guys braced? We're going. Okay, the latest experiment was a success. Can't say the same about previous cases, but this time the subject seems stable. Muscle mass increases steadily, however intellectual capability continuously declines. It would appear the subjects experience total memory loss. They have no recollection of who they are and what happened to them. That's good for us, right? All of the subjects have gone completely... Bald? 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 I think that's supposed to be bald. Their voice cords have undergone irreversible changes and they have lost the ability to articulate words. They now emit weird noises akin to laughter or something else entirely. Another peculiar upgrade is the eyesight. The subjects can definitely see in near total darkness and their eyes seem to reflect light so that was what we just saw back there. Rather haunting really. The subjects are getting more and more aggressive towards personnel. We still managed to keep them under control so far so good. Unfortunately, we still cannot determine what causes loss of signal between subject brain implants and our machines. But we are working on it. Let's continue the research. No, don't do that. You are horrible pieces of shit. Why are you doing... Why are you making this? Whatever these creatures are. Why? Is it the usual thing for a weapon? More running. Oh, there's a surgical table there too. I guess we're going that way. I keep having to check my foot in too because I can't see like <laughs> down here too well. This is so dark. Is this one of the subjects? Oh man, is that a dead body? There's a note next to him. What? Please do not get up off that gurney or bed, whatever it is. Fuel can. Generator. Light. And then platform. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fuel canister, generator, light. Is someone helping me? That's this. That's the second time. There's the glowing eyes. Oh, we can pick this up. What does that say? 20th December. 1985. Ooh. Take it. <laughs> it's 
So we gotta find the fuel can. Oh, is this where it was telling me to go? Oh no, that's just that's a shelf that's collapsed. Oh, there's the fuel canister over there. I do not want to go over to where those eyeballs are. <sighs> we're gonna have to. Oh, and that's where we're gonna play. Oh, we gotta get the power on first. The previous batch died within a week from inserting the brain implants and injecting the serum. But this, this is something else. Their physical attributes are rapidly increasing and their immune systems seem to be able to withstand exposure to all of the viruses and bacteria we introduce. All of that a mere week after the introduction of the new serum. We are excited to have Dr. Borkhoff, I think I'm saying that right, join the project. Everything has been going much faster and smoother now that he's with us. His vast expertise and innovative ideas led to a breakthrough with serum development, the best one yet. No, he's just another crazy, crazy doctor that needs throwing into a dark hole and never seeing the sight of again. Can we get that? There's a fuel can. Now I need to find the generator. Can we not? Wait, is that a, that's a candle, isn't it? Just have a look around. I'm really procrastinating right now, guys. I know you know that I don't want to go near those eyeballs, but I think we're going to have to. Yeah, they were up to some horrible shit down here. Experiments. No doubt creating... Creating weapons or something. I don't know if those things, the, the eyeballs or whatever that is, the creatures, the subjects, they're trying to help us or... Oh, what's going on? I'm trying to scan everything. This way? The implant issue is not fixed still. We cannot read their minds. We cannot give them orders. They keep silent. However, sometimes it feels like they are communicating with each other mentally. They exchange glances, give tiny little nods. They resemble a pack. Ew. As if they all share a mental link. At this point in time, we cannot confirm we reached original project goals. We still do not control the subjects, so using them for military purposes is out of the question. There we go. However, we've definitely reached a breakthrough in a different field. It looks like we created a new species. Yeah, one... Oh, please tell me that's not echolocation that they've developed. They can see in near pitch black, right? Oh, I'm being so brave compared to compared to what I would normally be like. I'm telling you guys, I would never ever do this. I take it all back as much as Are they, are they blood samples or is that the serum? The new serum that Dr. Borkov helped him with? Yeah, I would never do this. There's no way. The first sign of the freaky shit and I'd have been gone. And the fact that anybody's doing this <laughs> is so wrong. Right, I think we can go right at the end here. Oh my! I thought that was going to run straight on my face. Is it? The slapping of the feet when it's on the uh, concrete like that. Oh, what? Look at this. Somebody's watching. Oh, there we go, the generator. Okay. All right, where do we put the fuel? Oh, there. Fill up the fuel. There should be a start button somewhere. Ah. Yes. Oh, yes. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can hear something rustling over there. Okay, we got a little bit of light. What was that? Oh, 
Oh, the whole entire platforms gave way. Has it, or is it like a, the TV worked? I need to see if I can watch the tape. Did it give way, or did it, like, sink down? Was it something? Oh, no, it definitely gave way. Look at that. It's collapsed. All right, let's watch this freaky video, then. Let's throw it in. We gotta press play. I can't see what's happening. Oh no. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of- oh, there we go. Is this them doing the surgery on the subjects? We'd want to take that, right, as evidence. So bright. Yeah, look at them. You twisted bastards. What did you create? The record of the experiments that took place here. Yep. That brain function over there too. It really experimented on people. It's terrible. It's not only terrible, it's like, in terms of terrifying, it's really sad that people went missing, people's loved ones, and then they ended up as some new creature, some absolute nightmare thing. Is that brain function? I think it might be. It really, it really doesn't help you out either because <laughs> any monitors or anything like that is just totally blown out. And what you guys are seeing too is brighter than what I'm seeing. Because <laughs> I would have brightened things for you guys, but for me, ooh, <laughs> everything is pitch black. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh, you <sighs> They're so silent, too. Is this stairs? Yeah, okay. Bladders. <laughs> my brain's not working. Don't you be crouched down under there. Oh, there's our friend from earlier. Oh, we gotta go down. What? This place goes deeper. Look at this. Okay, they are closing the project. One of the recent subjects escaped, the one from the latest test batch. It tore several lab assistants and a couple of security guards to pieces and vanished into the vents. We tried to stop it by initiating a lockdown, but it looks like it managed to escape before the vent divider is fully closed. Oh god, what have we done? We were supposed to create remote control super soldiers, and we created an apex predator with human intelligence, ferocious strength, unparalleled agility, and night vision. Oh my god! I hope they capture the subject soon, or else... I don't want to think about it. Who? Who do you want to capture this? Who could? Does it have any weaknesses? Surely you would put some kind of failsafe in there, right? There's no- you don't just make the- the perfect specimen. That's an extinction level creature. That- that literally would wipe you out. Oh shit, it's here. Oh no! Was it over there or something? I just saw like a dust cloud. I was like- I was looking up here because I thought it'd be crawling upside down. Oh, I can definitely hear it. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> I got a feeling we're gonna come face to face with whatever this thing is. I've been waiting for like a chase scene or something. I think it's coming. We've already got, got to the bottom of what they were doing. We don't need all of this. Oh, what? 
Okay, Dr. Borkov ordered that everyone should leave the lab today. Told us to leave everything behind. Said the experiment had failed and we would never be able to control them. All project documentation will be destroyed. The subjects shall be put under and transported to a separate location. They are closing us down. The hospital on top of the lab as well. This is it. Months of work gone to waste. I don't know what's going to happen next. I guess they will burn the place down or extend the lockdown indefinitely. Either way, our vital mission will be forgotten. Screw it. I just want to get out of here. We all do, as soon as possible. Sometimes when you listen closely, despite all the movement and shouting and noises, you can hear something knocking in the vents. Oh, these horrible noises give me the chills. So we're hearing it from both sides, like the people who were upstairs in the hospital and the people who work down here too. Something is gonna happen <laughs> any second now. Oh, wait, we're we gonna see. that noise oh, could, look at that could you imagine just going around this place I mean it's bad enough as it is but seeing just those eyes everywhere oh look at that What the hell? I recognize the locations from the video. I've been there. That plushy teddy bear on the table. All right, fine. I've had enough. I need to get out of here. It's about time! Why is this thing here then? If that's... Wait, what? <laughs> oh, they're like googly eyes. Is this where they were staying? Where they were held up? I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't pick any of these up. All right, time to go. I mean, it was time to go hours ago, but it's <laughs> time to go. They're going to pay for this. I don't think we're getting out of here, guys. I'm just being totally honest. I don't think we're getting out of here. There's some kind of super enhanced subjects. More than one, as we've just seen. Sounds like the generator shut off. Great. Just ignore it and go... There's more than one of these things, and we've got to get all the way back out. Oh, just ignore it. Just keep going. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there's the eye. Oh, my God, what? Just go. Just go. I'm not looking. Oh, there was something there. I'm not looking at it. I can... Oh, I can hear something to my right. Get up. There's something at the top. <sighs> go. No, no, just go. Oh, Okay, I was just gonna say, that's not how it ends, right? Oh my god, they were chasing me. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go. Just go. It's a, it's a shame that we, we haven't learned to run. <laughs> That'd be really helpful. I really thought that was gonna end like that, just back there. Just being chased. And, ooh, and that's it. Just go. Just go. No! Shit. <laughs> yep, yep, let's just go. Oh. <laughs> He's shouting at me, don't freaking stop, but I can barely run! <laughs> I 
hate this. <laughs> this way? Oh, is it this way? Yes, it is this way. Go, 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 go. Oh, go! After Tim released the video, the police decided to investigate the place. They dispatched a team who turned the place upside down. Plenty of documents, machinery and clothes belonging to people who had gone missing throughout the years were uncovered. Nothing and no one else, however, was found. State authorities expressed official gratitude to Tim. Many relatives and friends of those who'd gone missing and whose documents were discovered reached out to Tim, thanking him for, albeit unintentionally, shedding light on their loved one's fates. <laughs> I genuinely didn't think we were going to make it out of there, but turns out we did. And then we gave the evidence to the police, who then turned this place upside down and it gave closure to the family members of the missing people. I mean, there were moments that I did guess what was going on. Are they going to be used for weapons? But it didn't change the fact that moments of this were terrifying. Things coming out of the darkness charging towards you is always like heart stopping. The moments that you could hear things on the perimeter as well, just outside of your peripheral vision as well, it always gives me chills. And then the chase sequence always makes me hold my breath to a point where I feel like I'm about to pass out. And that definitely did at the end there with not being able to run. So all in all, I did enjoy it. If you guys did too, and you want to see more horror on the channel, drop a like. It just lets me know you want to see more. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.